If you think drugs and politicians only mix in Toronto, well, you got another thing coming. Congressman Trey Riddell of Florida was arrested on October 29th for possession of cocaine. According to Politico, he was charged with a misdemeanor and is scheduled to appear in D.C. Superior Court today. The 37-year-old Riddell was elected in 2012. The Republican congressman released a typical statement on Tuesday saying sorry to his family and his constituents. He also said this unfortunate event does have a positive side. It offers me an opportunity to seek treatment and counseling. I know I have a problem and will do whatever is necessary to overcome it, hopefully setting an example for others struggling with this disease. Uh, Zach, I hope he gets better, but I, I can't help but be a little bit frustrated with this. Uh, Republicans who uh, offer punitive consequences for drugs, who support uh, draconian drug policy, who uh, vote to fund the war on drugs, are often the very same people who ask for love, treatment, and care when they are caught in drugs. Just, can we bring this up? I was looking at the Huffington Post here. Uh, Trey Riddell was busted on cocaine charge yesterday or recently, but he's the one who voted for drug testing for food stamp recipients. So if someone is using drugs, he doesn't want them to get food. But now he's right. asking for treatment and care. <laughs> Help me understand how this makes sense. It's, 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 it's horrible hypocrisy, but I think more than that, it, it just shows the, the effort to criminalize poverty, uh, which historically, I think over the last 50 years in the United States, has been, uh, has been taking place predominantly along racial lines. Uh, there, there have been efforts to, uh, to, to criminalize poor people, and particularly poor people of color, find things uh, that, that, that people are doing, uh, make them illegal, and uh, and put them in jail, lock them up for long periods of time. Um, you know, I actually have a lot of sympathy for Trey Riddell here. I mean, if the guy's got a problem, he needs some help. Like, let, let's get him some help. Let's get him treatment. I don't see any good reason to lock this guy up. I don't even see any good reason to remove him from office. It's not clear to me that this guy that, that, that this guy's problem has compromised his ability to, to execute his, his duties as a lawmaker. But that's true for almost everybody who's right. arrested on drug charges. Almost everybody. Uh, and the, the idea that we need to be mass incarcerating people uh, for, you know, for, for these relatively minor offenses or for something that, you know, as he said, is a disease, uh, it just strikes me as totally ridiculous and, uh, and, and really appalling that we haven't been able to, uh, to, that we haven't been able to confront this uh, you know, in, in, after you know, 30 years of, of failed drug war policy.